Happy Monday, Bobcat teachers and scholars. Welcome to another week of teaching and learning. Today, scholars, I want you to remember how smart you are. Remember that every day our goal is to make sure that we build your brilliance because I know that you are Mark. You are the best students in Memphis, Shelby County Schools. Don't let anybody, anybody keep you from learning, keep you from believing that you can be the best because great things are always happening at the hill. Let's get started with our morning announcement. Good morning, Cindy Hills Elementary students. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for the Bobcat affirmation. Bobcats are powerful. I think positively. I take ownership of my actions. I make wise choice choices. I am excited about my new learning. I will, I will reach my goals. I forgive others and myself. I am understanding of differences. I am a leader. I am a Bobcat. You may be seated for a moment of silence. Please pause for a moment of silence. Now, every day, all of the Bobcats within our Scenic Hill School should strive to display our foundational values. We want to send a special congratulations out to all of the students who received honors in our first nine week honors program. We are so proud of each of you and we hope to have more scholars to walk up on that stage when we have our second nine weeks honors program right after we return for christmas break so scholars if you weren't up on the stage you have the rest of this semester to prove to us that you have earned that right if you were on the stage, we expect for you to continue to walk across each and every nine week period. Scholars, this morning we will have our first quarter honors program. It will begin promptly at 9 a.m. Teachers, please keep your scholars in the classroom until we call for you to come down. 
Next up, I want to thank you for participating in our Red Ribbon Week. We are concluding this week with the theme of being ready. Remember to be ready today. You could wear red or you could wear your scenic heels gear. I can't wait to see what you chose. In other school-wide events and activities, we are continuing our participation in the Memphis Hustle Reading Cub Club. For week one to be on track, students in pre-K through two should have read for 100 minutes and colored three of those basketballs. And students in grades three through five should have read for 150 minutes and have four basketballs colored at least. Scholars, raise your hand if you met last week's reading minute challenge. Teachers, please send me a picture of students who can prove to you that they met last week's reading challenge so that we can feature them in this week's morning announcements. Our second announcement is that on this day, today, all students will be completing the student perception survey. Teachers, if students log into Clever and they look for the student perception survey link, they should be able to take this survey. If needed, teachers, you are able to read those questions um, out loud so that students will understand exactly what they are um, entering as their answers. Thank you for stopping, dropping, and completing this beginning at 8.30 this morning. Now, scholars, we had Red Ribbon Week last week, and it was fantastic. But tomorrow, because we had 98% participation on our Mastery Connect assessment, you have earned an extra theme day. And that is why we are having Storybook Character Day on tomorrow. I hope that you have picked out your favorite storybook character. If you need some inspiration on the screen, you will see just a few of the costumes, the characters, our Bobcat scholars and staff dressed up as last year. Today's classroom spotlight goes to our grade one scholars in Miss Jean's and Miss Parnell's classroom. These scholars were caught using their math strategies to solve word problems last week. They were using their anchor chart following the steps that they were given and each of our scholars were successful. On the screen you see just a few of the almost 25 pages that I reviewed, the work that I reviewed, where the scholars received a 100% accuracy their grade was an A. Now scholars if these scholars in grade one can do it then I expect to see more scholars in the other grade levels using their anchor charts and their step sheets to solve reading and math problems. I'll be around to see what you are learning soon. Today, we have two scholars to celebrate. It was on this day that Anaya Hughes and Kaysen Boyd were born. We are so excited to have you both with us today at the Hill so that we can celebrate just a piece of your special day with you. And we hope that this day brings you everything that makes you smile. Now, if you see Anaya and Kaysen in the hallway, the cafeteria, on the playground, even if you don't see them until it is time to be dismissed from school, be sure 
to give them both a special Bobcat birthday shout out. Now, for those of you in the room with them right now, help me wish them a special birthday wish by turning, pointing to them, and saying, Happy Birthday! All right, scholars, it is time for our hard facts. Now, we are going to mix it up today. We have been doing multiplication facts, but today you must be ready. Today, we will be doing addition, subtraction, and multiplication facts. So make sure you are paying close attention. Are you ready? Let's get started. All right, scholars, are you ready? Just a reminder that you have three seconds and three seconds only to answer these addition, subtraction, and multiplication facts. Pay close attention. Let's go. 78 minus 9. 69. Did you, did you remember to use that strategy we've been working on? What's the name of that strategy that we've been working on to help us quickly subtract a problem? Do you remember what it was? That's right, counting back. Remember to count back. You put the big number in your head and then you look at your subtraction problem to see how many numbers you need to count backwards to get to. So let's do it together. Our big number is 78. All right, do it with me. 77, 76, 75, 74. 73, 72, 71, 70, 69. Great job. Let's try an addition problem. 900 plus 900. 1,800 or 1,800. Remember, we have been practicing adding to the hundreds place with zeros in our ones and our tens place we will begin adding in a few more numbers in our ones and tens place and then we will get six seconds to answer those problems our scholars in grade two are working to add numbers up to one thousand and so if you look in our ones column, we have all zeros. In our tens column, we have all zeros. And then all we had to do was add the two numbers in our hundreds column. And that is nine plus nine. But that answer is 18, which means that we had to move that one over to our thousands column. So that answer is 1,800. In our students in the spotlight, today we are shining a light on some of our Bobcat scholars who helped us to prepare for the honors program and to put away all of the supplies that we did not use during the program. We are so grateful to these Bobcat scholars for being willing to lend a helping hand. In our national holidays, today is National Treat Your Pet Day. Do you have a pet at home? What type of pet do you have? Do you have more than one pet? Well, today's challenge question for those of you who have a pet is, what types of treats do you give your pet at home? Teachers, I love to hear about the types of pets that our Bobcat scholars have. Today's read aloud is entitled The Halloween Tree. Scholars, what do you think is the difference between a Christmas and a Halloween tree? Have you ever heard of a Halloween tree? Well, you'll find out 
exactly what a Halloween tree is in today's read aloud. Teachers, today's read aloud is 15 minutes and 16 seconds long. If you don't have time for scholars to watch it this morning, take some time right before dismissal. Uh, the last 15 minutes of the day, about 2.45 to uh, 3 o'clock or 2.50 to 3.10 and have children to watch this story. In addition to our read aloud, we have our grammar connection, our capitalized video for our scholars in pre-K and K. We have our punctuation playground for our scholars in grades 1 and 2. We have our capitalization rules for our scholars in grades 2 and 3. And for scholars in grades 4 and 5, we have our Greek and Latin roots. Scholars, don't forget, we will be having our special caught following the 3R approach treats this week. One of my special admin members will be bringing that around so you never know when they walk in if they might have the big bag of treats so make sure that you are following the 3R approach this week remember every day we're building brilliant bobcats because we are raising the bar by believing in ourselves achieving our goals and reimagining our future